Pay attention to your pattern. The way you learn to survive may not be the way you want to continue to live. Heal and shift. And welcome back to January 2022, part two. Honestly, the second part of January was when I was really struggling with my mental health. The days blend into night and I got really busy and my husband and I started sleeping separately just because like the girls are sick so he sleep with the two older one I sleep with Kaylee I swear in January the girls were constantly sick they get COVID they're done with it they caught the second strand after I was done with it and it was just so tiring for both of us that we skipped out on dating we barely talked to one another and both of us were just really mentally strained and because we're both in the same industry and we work for the same company often we bring work home with us and into our relationship and it feels like every time we do talk to one another it's always about work and we're always arguing about work and how to handle some things so helpful thank you uh oh drop one thank you Every day is the same thing, work, argue, and take care of the kids. Erica started school again and Stephanie left and she went back to Nebraska for schooling and the house is just, you know, empty. When I'm home, I'm working, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, and when Erica gets home, I go out and I work and it feels so lonely, you know? Why, why are you calling me sister? I'm recording both of you because you're being so sweet to your sister. There was honestly so much anger that was built in within me that nothing was honestly helping. I had so much self-care day, you know, I got my nails done a lot, which usually made me feel better, but it didn't. Got some work done as well, um, got some Botox and fillers because I felt like maybe it's me. Maybe I didn't feel good about myself, so that's why I feel this way. Maybe I just don't like my reflection. Maybe he fell out of love with me. I mean, toward the end of January, we did try to go out on a date and it didn't end very well because we ended up fighting, even at the restaurant, and I remember that night. After the night, I think we completely just ignored one another. And I think to him, he wanted to go out because he wanted to rekindle the love, but he didn't know where to begin. And if we're honest, he has never been the sweet talking type. And I needed more, you know? I just needed so much more. I needed him. But. He just wasn't there mentally for me. So after fighting the second week of January and the fiasco of the date, we ended up not talking at all to each other for like seven days on the third week of January. And on the final week before New Year, I just kind of focus on myself and the children. And the responsibility. I feel like children gave me an escape from having to solve this issue because I know that he's not going to change tomorrow, you know? He's going to need a lot more time. And I feel like I'm always just waiting for him to grow, to be able to communicate better, to see things from my point of view, to appreciate me. Because I feel like I put in so much and I feel underappreciated. I know a lot of wives feel this way. I know a lot of girlfriends feel this way and I, 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 I feel trapped. And this video isn't to justify my feelings because I don't feel like I have to say much because I know that all of us are battling the same battles, you know? We just want our husband's love. But I feel like the more money that my husband and I make, 
the more he relies on the American Express to show his love. It wasn't material that, you know, got me in the first place. And it will never be materials that keep me because I'm a woman that can always make my own money. I've always been financially secure and stable and financially independent. So I guess somewhere along this road, he just feel like, oh, well, she can buy it if she wants to. And he never care what I buy or what I do financially because, well, you make more than enough or super comfortable. But, you know, I kind of want an effort from him, you know? I don't want to have to go out and get me myself flower. I want him to get my, me flower. I want him to want to get me flower, if that makes any sense. I want him to kiss me good morning and kiss me when he come home from work tell me about his day without me asking and giving such a simplified answer and then use it as an excuse of why he's giving me an attitude because work is overwhelming for him. You know, he barely ever asked me about my day or if I've drank any water or anything. We just don't talk about us and I feel like he doesn't know me anymore and it feels lonely. However, no matter how I feel, I always try my best to make everyone around me happy. And with New Year around, obviously, I'm the one that does all the planning once again. So I had to fill up all these envelopes with different amount, but majority is 100 because usually people get lucky if they can pick the 100. I put only very small amount like of 1s and 20s and 50s on the tree because I really hope no one has a bad year. <laughs> because obviously, you know, we're an entrepreneur family, so we focus a lot on being able to get good luck. It's slow. You are eating too slow. You have to speed up. Come on, Kate. So because I spend a lot of time at home, I try to always change up the decor just because I feel like every time I add a little color, I move things around. It gives me a fresh outlook. It gives me a happier mood. So obviously, I spend a lot of time with planting and finding cute trees for the holiday and keeping up with my traditions and teaching the girls about our traditions and our heritage. So yeah, it's a lot of parenting. And parenting is tough. I hate parenting. I love my kids, but I freaking hate parenting. Feed yourself. Next spoon now. Almost done. And obviously because they are a kid, they obviously have or genetic and they are very hard headed and it's very hard to parent them. So yeah. Oh, yeah, I want to show you guys this the, this product by Derma E. This is what I've been using, and it's been so good for my skin, by the way. And P.S., link is in the description bar. And the reason why, no matter how I feel, I always focus on my look, and I take care of myself, is because no matter how you feel, you should be there for yourself. And it doesn't matter if your husband makes you sad, mad, whatever. You should still take care of you. You should let yourself go just because you're upset. So when I'm sad, I shop and I focus on home decor. And my mom always tell me that whenever you're unlucky, you don't feel like you're very lucky, you should take care of yourself, put on a nice outfit, and put on some lipstick. Because if you feel good, you are inviting the god of wealth into your life. And so that is why I'm going to take this time to care of myself. And since my mother is always right, ever since I started to change my outlook, positive thing did start happening. I got this amazing whoop package it is macarons which you know is my ultimate favorite it is the tiger collection they sent this to me as a gift so huge shout out once again i will link it down below i'm honestly a huge lettere fan but the pricing does get really crazy um however whoop is definitely tastes just the same just as good just as high quality but a fraction of the price if you're interested in this and sending this for next year because they do have really cute packaging for each new year specials um 
I will link that down below. I'll also show you their cards because you can definitely just check them out. Um, purchase on the website. This should still be available on the website even now and you can pick out, pick out whatever flavor you want. Um, my sister loves it. She loves it so much that I actually ordered my mom the same box and I delivered to her as well as my sister Tilia. Since good thing has been happening since I took care of myself and put a little more effort into my looks, it's not even my husband to look at, it's just for me, you know, when you look good, you feel good. So I decided to actually wear out a few pieces that I've had in my collection while I was pregnant and didn't fit. I decided I'm going to look good. Starting February, I'm just going to start focusing on myself and I want to start Instagram. So I started posting and editing and entering the real family. <laughs> So don't forget to follow me. I'm going to be doing a lot of cooking. And even now, if you check out my Instagram, link is up ahead on the right hand corner. Um, definitely, I'm making some bomb reels. So follow me on there. Don't forget to hit the heart button as well as hit the heart button and subscribe button in this channel. By the way, I am starting a new cooking sub folder. So watch out for those soon. It's a small ducky. All for you, boo boo. All for you. Yeah. Ah! Uh. What is that? That's a small ducky. You gonna have duck for dinner? Yeah, you have duck for dinner. Eat the ducky. <laughs> Stop trying to roll over. Why are we rolling over? Oh no. Hi. How you doing? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Kaylee with her small ducky. Bless you. Look at that. It's a cutie little ducky. It's like you. Tiny ducky. You. You a cute small little ducky 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 ducky. It's so cute ducky. <laughs> Look at what happened when you put a duck on her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Your ducky is so cute! Your ducky is so cute! <laughs> Where's the ducky? Where is it? Where's the ducky? Where is the ducky? Where is it? I can't find it. Can you find it for mama? Where's the small ducky at? Where is it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Mommy is leaving. Mama is Why? Mama is riding. Because mom and dad doesn't love each other anymore. Um, how about you can read, but you have to do your homework. Why? Why are you doing? If mom leaves, do you want to come with mom or do you want to stay with dad? I want to come with mama. Come with mama. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. If things are hard, would you still want to be with Mama? Where are you going? We're going to go back to Grandma and Grandpa's house. I want to go. I'm going to go pack, and I'm going to book our flight, and we're going to go. Buddy. Yeah. It got really bad on the 28th. And the fight that we got in the day before New Year... Almost ended in a divorce. He came home that day and we took off work and we hashed it out. And it ended for the better. Um, we were able to solve our issue and he apologized. And it sucks that it takes losing a good woman for a man to learn, but some lesson need to be learned. Because when you know you are worth, never settle for anything less. Okay. Where are you gonna put it? Okay, well, we gotta go all around the tree, not just on a little bit of stuff. Uh-uh, we gotta separate it. That's a, that's too much. I will wear it. Hi, I love you. Okay, hi. I love you. Mm-hmm. Where would you
Would you hang it? No, 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 no. Use the chair, not the train. Put it on here. See? It will hang. The kids got better, so he started sleeping in the room again. There's still a fortress between us because I'm still not happy. I still need to see a result before I believe anything that he has to say. But the house is in a better mood. It is ready for New Year. So it does make me feel better. And um, we'll see where things go from here. So the next day, um, I booked an appointment and Erica didn't have school so I decided I'm going to go get my hair done. I got my appointment in at MG Hair Boston and Mr. Gray graded my hair and it just made me feel really good, you know? It was just like every time you feel unhappy, you know, or you want a new beginning, you cut your hair, you change your hair color, right? Well, same thing. It's just my go-to. I just needed a day for myself. I wanted to feel like it's a new beginning for me, for us, and honestly, I really do feel it in the air after getting it done. So how did it turn out? So I wanted to kind of sit down and show you guys what the end result looked like. I'm super happy with it. Mr. Gray always deliver. So yeah, <laughs> I love it. And with that, I would like to end this vlog on the day before New Year. The house is ready. The relationship feels brand new. I feel like a new woman. I feel good in my skin. I felt like I am heard. And I will see you in February. And hopefully, February will be better. I love you. See you next time. Bye.